the blood is pumping faster in your veins Don't know what's coming or what to say Just got that feeling that you gotta get away Yeah, you had your time but now I'm gonna get what's mine There's nowhere left on earth for you to hide I'm gonna take it crowd Watch your name out on this tip What's up everybody? Welcome back to Jack T this is your boy Joey Badass, and as always, I'm bringing you the realest, the rawest shit that you can fucking see. Blah, 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 blah. I ain't really know what to say there. I just really wanted to say something. I feel like I should be saying something. But blah, blah, blah. We just got two calls for a Jiro right here in Denton. They're actually at the same address, the same customer. She has a Mazda CX-7 and a 07 Chevy Impala. I think I've towed something for this lady before. Her name's real familiar, and the vehicle sounds familiar. But uh, got two cars that need to be um, towed to, I think it's an auto body shop or an auto mechanic shop, one of them right there in Denton on the highway on 404, right on 404. The truck is running really good now. I filled it up with hydraulic fluid because the people who did the hydraulic lines never filled it back up. Like, come on, man. But I filled that up, it's working great now. Everything's working great on the truck. The boom, the truck is running really great. I haven't had no problems. It's nice and warm out right now. It's been 50 degrees the last couple days. Can't ask for much better. The truck's been running really good. It's been really solid. We've been getting about 10 calls a day done. Getting back up there with our normal calls, 10 to 15 calls a day. So can't complain. Back on my little hustle. I think the truck's gonna do good. And uh, we're on the grind to uh, 1,000 subscribers. We got a little over 430. Thank you guys. Thanks for everybody subscribing. Thanks for everybody liking the videos, commenting, sharing. Just got these two vehicles up here. The Impala and the uh, Mazda. Both these calls didn't really pay much, but this is the third time I've towed this lady and she's pretty cool. So just did them another favor again. Didn't add no deadhead or nothing. So let's get these unloaded and uh, Head on out. <laughs> Guys, we got like a little, um, little side hustle over here. She takes it to this guy all the time. Well, three times now that I've towed her, it's always been here. And she don't believe in like taking it to the bigger mechanics. Which, in my opinion, I don't either because they'll fucking get you, man. Sometimes the people that's with you get you too. All right, y'all, I'm about to go get my ass some lunch. I am starving. I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I've been trying to record a lot of content. I've got a lot of content coming out. Um, I'm trying to get into doing some more impounds and also accident toes. So that's gonna come more once I get this uh, flatbed. But uh, stay tuned guys, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and if you enjoy this, share it, comment, tell me what you want to see next, tell me what you guys drive, tell me what y'all are out there towing, tell me what y'all are out there doing, what type of towing company do you guys own, are you out there doing impounds, I mean accident tows, recovery cars, what is it that you guys are doing, let's all network, let's come together, let's start a towing community guys, let's just get real big on this channel let this be the channel for all towing operators like I said I enjoy each and every one of y'all I enjoy everybody's input and everybody's comments and everybody's opinions I appreciate all that you guys give me more ideas as I help you guys so let's go we're out here I doubt y'all can even see that right now but 
I'm about to pull over and get this bitch strapped up. Hold on, guys. Look, this is where my boys play football at over here. And, uh, it's like the packing center around here, but, uh, got this Honda Accord that's going out to Preston Ford. They left the keys in it, but it's in a busy ass parking lot, so I just hurried up, took off with it because I had to push it out the parking spot and do all that shit, so. Everything looks good. I got it pretty quick, but uh, let's get set up and uh, do this. My lift is working so fucking good now, man. I swear, dude. Look. It's picking every car up nice and smooth, man. I love it. All right, y'all. Let's get out of here. We got to get this one up to Preston Ford, and then at Preston Ford, we got to uh, go to Easton from there. We got one that's standing Easton, and uh, let's go. We just got up to Preston Ford with this Honda Accord here. I'm gonna go ahead and get everything unstrapped real quick so that we can head to Easton. We got a lockout, the tow canceled, but we do still have the lockout up there. I'm gonna go drive this in the parking spot and then get these keys in here, and then we're gonna head out to this lockout. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, share this content. Uh, we're on the road to 1,000. So, appreciate everything y'all are doing. Let's go. We're out here in Harrington. Uh, just got uh, this Volkswagen picked up. I just talked to the gentleman. The address led me out in front of the Harrington slots, the casino up here. And uh, it wasn't even there. It's been at this Valero. Said he backed it in the spot and everything for me. He put it in here pretty nice so I could access it with ease. So uh, we're taking this one up to Dover. It's about 26 miles away. It's this little uh, shop I'm pretty sure of. I'm pretty sure I know the place that it's going to, but uh, it's really fucking cold outside. Really fucking cold. That wind is just whipping right now. This is what we got. Like I said, we're up here to this uh, Valero. It is fucking cold as shit outside right now. So we're gonna go ahead and get this up to Dover. I appreciate each and every one of y'all that are subscribed already and that are watching these videos. And if you do watch these videos, please watch till the end. Watch all the way through. There's stuff all throughout the video that you guys are gonna love. So watch all the way through. Check out the end screens. Check it all out, guys. Stay all the way through so we can build this channel and we can start having some fun on here, guys. So uh, without further ado, Roll that beautiful bean footage. I just wanna be free when my dog's outside. We just wanna live our lives and fly. I told all my peers we just got it. Alright guys, so uh yesterday I was pushing a car out of the mud and everything and broke my whole brand new iPhone 12. It uh fell out of my clip, my outer box clip, and ran right over it. Didn't even know it. And uh, good thing I've been paying for the insurance because I just switched to Verizon. You guys remember that video? If not, click here. And uh, went into Verizon store as soon as it happened. Right down the street, literally. Brand new phone in the mail already. iPhone 12. So, now it's time to switch it over and log back in everything. We're about to head out to Milford. We have a Chrysler 200 broke down. I don't know if it's on the side of the road or at somebody's house, but I think they are still with the vehicle. It's about 22 miles away and it's getting towed a total of 2.8 miles. So it's not too far of a tow. It's around $60. So I'll probably get a deadhead approved for that as well. But uh, let's get up to this thing and get them back safely. Pop, pop, pop that motherfucking chuggy. Chick, chick, motherfucking boogie. All right, y'all. We just got this uh, Chrysler 200 from out here in Milford. I just pulled over at the car wash. 
so I can go ahead and record this real quick. I wanted to show you guys something on these uh, Chrysler 200s. Because this one was stuck in part. So, if you guys ever have one of these cars or anything and you ever stuck in park in this, then this one was actually pulled into the driveway, stuck in park. I released the brake. It won't go in no gears, it won't turn no dial, and it has the actual gear shift dial to it. The little fucking spinny thing. And it wasn't going in gear, nothing. And uh, they had to disconnect the battery to turn the car off and all this other shit. But when you turn it on, it won't go to no gears, nothing. So if you want to get in neutral, then you look right down here, there's this little thing like this. See that? Peel this little rug up. Then there's this little pop thing you can pop out. And then you see down in there, you'll see this little thing that you could pull up and pull out. And then you'll hold it straight up and it'll sit straight up and then you'll put the car in neutral, roll it where you need to be, and then pull the string again and release it. So y'all are ever in that position in the 2015 Chrysler 200 now you know how to undo it go ahead and get this one down to the dealership it's about a mile down the road and uh we got two more calls one in Herlock and then one in Easton so let's go here on this uh, 2015 Chrysler town and country key was stuck in the ignition and the uh, battery is definitely not starting I put the cables on it I put my jump box on it and that motherfucker went crazy started lighting up all different colors and shit so they definitely got something electronic going on here but they wanted it parked right here in front of the bay door at IG Burton Picked it up in Millington. It's out here in Smyrna now at the service shop across from IG Burton. So we're going to get it unstrapped and uh, get it unloaded. We're out here on scene with this Honda Civic. We got it uh, out here in Easton. Feeling something you can't explain. You feel the blood is pumping faster in your veins. Don't know what's coming. Oh, what to say? Just got that feeling that you gotta get away. Yeah, you had your time, but now I'm gonna get with my. There's nowhere left on. Set up over here in this goddamn sun. Take your crown. Find your name out of this town. Oh, it's too late to stop it now. beat up shots but everything is good no more laying marks or anything on the thing so let's go all right guys we just got that uh car dropped off up there in east and we just got back up here to the house and uh wanted to show you guys i finally got everything welded up on this boom it's been about uh maybe about five days now or something uh Guy actually only charged me 30 bucks. I gave him 100 because he did an excellent job. But look. So, the guy, I bought the actual bolt for it. Here, I'll show you this side first. All right, so, the bolt consisted of right here. It had this side on it with this little, hold on. The bolt had, um this little horseshoe pin hole thing for um, just drilling in and tapping on the side there for easy access removed for next time if he uh, breaks again or anything then he just welded around this on the sides and then 
This side comes with nothing, just an empty side, so he welded this washer right on the end of that, but he didn't weld it around here just so it can free move and do all that. So I thought it was a pretty genius idea and it's been working great since.